Hey guys, what's going on? I want to talk to you really quickly about a really awesome tool called Build Fire that you can use to create your own app. So, Build Fire allows you to create mobile apps specifically. So, if any of you guys are thinking about pushing your app to the Android or iOS store, this is a really, really good resource for you because it's specifically for mobile apps. Now, uh, there are a couple favorite features, and I want to show you a little bit about how Build Fire works because it's really unique. So, specifically, um, Build Fire has a ton of templates. So, it's not like you just get thrown in and it's like, hey, create whatever you want, um, and you have to do all the thinking and figuring out. Build Fire is really good. One of its strengths is it gives you great templates, which allows you to move really fast. Also, one of the things that's unique about Buildfire is that it pulls in from a ton of plugins. The majority of the work that you'll do on Buildfire is going to be pulling in plugins from other services, whether that's Shopify or WooCommerce if you want to sell things, or Twitter, Slack, HipChat if you want to do messaging features, Facebook, YouTube. So really what it's a good way to do is integrate all of these services and put them inside of your mobile app. Really great templates for doing all those things. Also, Buildfire's got some awesome tutorials, so if you're not sure how to do something and get stuck, they're really good on this. Not all services have great tutorial videos on how to use them. This is one that definitely does. And also, it's specifically for iOS and Android. So you're going to be specifically working on an app that someone downloads from their app store and actually has on their phone. Now, before I jump into our scores, the score that I give Buildfire, I want to have Patrick just give you a quick walkthrough of what Buildfire looks like and how you might use it. Hey guys, this is Patrick. Hey, I wanted to share with you a quick um, overview of a program, another one that Tar recommended called Buildfire. Um, and with Buildfire, this basically allows you to make mobile apps um, in a really click, really quick and cool way. Um, first, it starts off here where they have these different type of templates and different type of themes. You can select one of these, and they have a nice little emulator here, which um, basically lets you explore, kind of figure out how it's going to be set up, how the different tabs will work. Um, from the start, it gives you some functionality, so you really get a feel for how your app would be set up, whether it's um, Android or iOS, and it gives a lot of kind of set features um, of being able to see exactly how you want to set up your app um, on your phone and, and, and how that will work. Um, now, if we go to one that, that we try to be selected, this is one where, where I was just playing around with it. Um, I selected the one for music. So it already has features like I played with putting my company um, logos and such um, in it, uploading some files, some pictures, just to kind of see how it works. But the um, real power out of this is the ability to adapt the plugins. And plugins are, um, think of them like features. So if I wanted to add features to my app, basically Buildfire allows me to integrate um, other apps that are already functional and developed and build that into my app. So if I wanted something like YouTube, for instance, and it shows you um, pictures on the side of exactly what it would look like um, with that integration. But if I wanted um, to even have Twitter integrated into it, or if I wanted to do something that was more so with, um, with like documents, uh, we have Google Docs, Google Sheets, we have folders for being able to collect things, you have um, pictures and galleries. This was pretty cool because this is like a, a loyalty reward app. So if you were doing some type of program um, and people were um, acquiring points, you could actually have some type of loyalty program um, plug-in that's a part of your app. So there are plenty of these that you can choose from. They also have the feature that if you're an actual programmer and you, know, you have skills um, of JavaScript or HTML, you can actually program and have full control to be able to do some, some, some really creative things and have that pop up into your um, app as well. Um, another feature that this has as well is you have uh, different analytics and such that, that comes with the service. 
So you can see how many different users you have. You can see how many downloads of your app you have. Um, and then also there are different tools that you have as far as being able just to manipulate the appearance of the app. You can change all of these fields as far as how the headers look, um, the colors on the buttons, so on and so forth. So from a standpoint of being able to, to get an app that is a, a native app to have it very, very um, nice and slick with a lot of cool features in a pretty quick way, um, Bill Fire is definitely the way, way to go. Now, one thing I will say, it's, um, it's a little bit on the pricey side, in my opinion. Um, if you look at price and upgrading, um, and the way this works, they'll let you build out something basically for free. But if you want to publish it, they have the options for you where um, you have choices of, of how much it would cost per month. Um, if we look at, you get a bit of a discount if you go yearly. But if you do per month, which this is the recommended one, is basically 150 bucks a month if you pay month to month. Um, the other kind of catch with this too is that some of the plugins actually have um, a cost for using them as well, especially the ones that are more um, e-commerce in nature where you're selling things. Those usually have some type of charge um, associated with them. So that's just something to think about as well. Um, but if I look at this, you know, pricing wise, I'd probably give it about a C. Um, if I look at ease of use, you know, it's, I think it's pretty, pretty simple to put together and use, but the good thing about it is that um, if you do need some assistance, they actually have um, a lot of documentation. They have a lot of videos um, that are available for you to be able to get some help. They also have this little help screen and, and they can offer some real-time support, which is also really cool. Um, so a lot of stuff to really help you out, um, help you get going. Like here, here are all the different tutorials and such for it. Um, and then if I look at, like I say, like the bells and whistles and such, it's got a lot of cool things to it. Um, a lot of things that were, um, you know, nice to have and, and definitely will, will get you something slick uh, with a nice design. So um, that's Bill Fire. Have fun. Okay, so now we can move on to the scoring system. Now when it comes to price, we give Bill Fire a B minus. What helps is you can get started for $59 a month. This is pretty much in range of other tools like its kind, right? These sort of uh, built for you, really structured tools. It's, they all sort of range around this price point, and the great thing is that they're easy to use. Um, what hurts is that if you really want advanced features, for example, push notifications, then you have to upgrade to a higher plan. Um, and let me show you a little bit about their pricing. One thing I have noticed is that they've been experimenting a little bit with their pricing, so it's just something to keep in mind. Like, you might come to the website after you watch this video, and the pricing might be slightly different. Um, they're not going to change how much you pay uh, once you've already signed up, but they are playing around a little bit with pricing. Just something for you to know. Now, when it comes down to ease of use, we give BuildFire an A-. minus. It's really easy to get started in minutes. They've got a ton of templates, as I mentioned, which makes it really easy to use in lots of tutorials. What hurts it and doesn't give it an A+, plus is that support is only available in a limited way, and so you can't just at any time of night send a message to their support team and get an answer. Um, a lot of the tools that we've talked about have really great support, but this is one thing that sort of hurts BuildFire a little bit. Now, when it comes to bells and whistles, we also give it an A minus. You get a lot of stuff for a pre-built app builder, right? You get custom notifications if you're in a higher uh, plan. You get tons of integrations. I listed off all those tools, YouTube, Shopify, WooCommerce. They've got the gold mine of integrations that are the easiest to use um, when it comes to the app builder. And also, there's a really cool built-in loyalty program. So if you want to incentivize people for staying and all those good things, it's a really good tool for that because it already has all those things built in. So... Overall, BuildFire gets a B plus, really good tool to use, particularly if you really need to leverage a lot of external tools, YouTube, Spotify, whatever it might be for your app, really good.